Welcome to Wood Gas Science, where we attempt to learn the science behind wood gas stove. This is the first test having to do with the secondary air ports. Experiment Part 5.1 These next few experiments will be using the optimized primary port layout that we've arrived at in previous videos. I'm starting with eight secondary holes equally spaced around the top of the inner can. The fuel parameters are kept the same throughout all these experiments, and we'll be using one measured cup of wood pellets and one tablespoon of wood pellets soaked in heat out of the yellow bottle. By three minutes, gasification was definitely occurring, and we're starting to get a burn out of the ports. By the time five minutes rolled around, all eight secondary ports had flames, uh, although they were a little on the weak side. This burn is not looking very promising. At 15 minutes, all eight secondary ports had better jets of flames, although they're still relatively weak compared to other burns. The flame just does not look very consistent. It looks like it could be blown out in a high wind. As you can see, the flames coming out of the ports um, are very small, and most of the flame looks like it's actually above the can. From my experience so far in these experiments, this is a symptom of not getting enough airflow through the secondary ports. Uh, by around 25 minutes, the flames were pretty well dying, and the burn was about over. In summary, the total burn time for this test was 25 minutes, and there was some smoke at the end. The fuel consumption for this test was about a half of a cup, and the appearance of the jets were not very strong. In conclusion, I'm going to double the number of secondary ports to see if I can get more airflow through them. This is the beginning of secondary airport experiment part 5.2. I have increased the number of secondary holes from 8 to 16 and equally spaced them around the top of the can. The fuel parameters are kept the same in all these experiments. I've used one cup of wood pellets and one tablespoon of wood pellets soaked in heat from the yellow bottle. At three minutes, we already have good flame coming from all 16 ports, uh, secondary ports that is. And at five minutes, all 16 secondary ports have jets of blue flame. This burn is looking much better than the last test already. I really like the top-down views of these stoves when all the ports have strong flames. The flame is meeting in the middle. At 10 minutes, we're still getting nice jets coming out of all the ports. Um, it's still not an extremely strong flame, but as you can see from this top view, uh, the port, the flames are meeting in the middle, and it looks like it's producing quite a bit of heat. At 15 minutes, all 16 secondary ports still have very good flame coming out, uh, and definitely heading in the right direction. From this top down view, you can still see the blue flames coming out of the ports. At 20 minutes, the flame is still relatively strong, but it is starting to noticeably diminish. Uh, by 27 minutes, the flames are just about out. In summary, the total burn for this test was 27 minutes, and when it went out, there was very little to no smoke. The fuel consumption is about a half of a cup, and the appearance for this test of the jets was much stronger. In conclusion, I'm going to increase the size of the ports and see if that helps give me a stronger flame. Thank you for joining me for Wood Gas Stove Science, Secondary Airport Experiment, Part 5.1 and 5.2. Goodbye.